Welcome back, ghouls and goblins, to another Magic the Gathering Arena deck guide video hosted by yours truly. Hello, good game. I'm pleased today to break down this deckless in depth for you all, discussing these strategies as well as synergies held within, providing you with a deeper understanding of how to pilot this deck effectively. It's not just the deck list that you'll need, uh, you'll want to really map out uh, everything that it entails as well. Of course, we will demonstrate all of this within our Mythic Ranked gameplay footage against the best decks as well as players in game, right? Uh, helping further cement the individual play lines for the specific meta matchups that you'll find yourself in. And of course, we'll conclude with our uh, deck review, channel news, and of course, wrap up thoughts. If you want to help out, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, kick back, relax, and have an absolute magical day. Today, we will be looking at gruel spooters this is a manifest based deck uh focusing around the haunt woods shrieker and uh also the uh val Gavoth's onslaught um my pronunciation is just a, an atrocity day to day that's one thing you'll always be able to rely on alongside the sick deck list okay um so the manifest dread is a new mechanic that allows us to put creatures from our library face down as a 2-2. And then we can pay their mana value, if it's a creature, uh, to turn it face up, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's just great value, right? So in this case, uh, the Onslaught for 2x plus 1 will manifest dread x times and then put x plus 1 counters on each of those creatures. Um, so for example, 5 mana, you're getting two four fours. And, um, you know, when we do flip those creatures over, uh, the plus one counters will stay, which is pretty cool. Um, and now the Shrieker is a 3-3 three, three for 3, will manifest Dread whenever it attacks, and can pay 2 to reveal a face-down permanent. If it's a creature card, uh, we're going to turn it face up, right? So we can, um, you know, look at our opponent's stuff that's face down, and if it's a creature card, we can choose... Uh, to turn it face up, which is pretty decent, right? You know, you can look at your opponent's stuff. If you need, probably not so much, but flipping your stuff on the discount, right? Let's say we get a four drop out. We can pay two mana instead of four mana. So that's quite beneficial for us. And then, you know, kind of uh, combining that with the Twitching Doll. Uh, this is a new mana stone uh, or mana dork, I guess you could say, for two mana as a two-two tapping to add mana of any color and putting a nest counter on it. And then we can tap it to sacrifice it to create uh, a number of 2-2 spiders equal to the number of counters on the doll, which is really good. So, you know, that's not just the nest counters. That's going to be the plus one counters as well as previously discussed through the onslaught. Uh, furthermore, we can accumulate plus one counters through the beast caller if it dies and the innkeeper's talent um you know at the beginning of our combat as that will distribute a plus one counter for us as well so uh we're going to be making a bunch of spooters i had one match with 35 spiders uh in play which is absolutely ridiculous and um you know we're just tapping to add mana uh, of course if we have spare plus one counters to distribute that's where they can go which is quite nice and then I guess, you know, on that note, I'm forgetting about the Paw Patch Recruit for one mana as a 2-1 with Trample. Offspring for two. If, you know, you do pay this, you'll get a 1-1 one, one token copy of it. And whenever a creature you control becomes a target of a spell or an ability an opponent controls, we'll put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature we control uh, other than that creature, which is pretty decent. And again, you know, that can help stack up counters on the Twitching Doll, allowing us to sacrifice it for a bunch of Spoo Duders. And, um, you know, the coolest thing about all of that is we intend to immediately attack with them thanks to something like the Enduring Courage for 4 mana as a 3-3. Three, three. Whenever another creature you control enters, uh, it gets plus 2, plus 0, and haste until the end of turn, which is substantial. Our spiders are now 4-2s, holy Toledos. And uh, we also have Yaris, Roar of the Old Gods, 4 mana, 4-4. Four, four, other creatures you control have haste. You know, now they can still attack. Um, and whenever one or more face-down creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. This is really nice with the Manifest Dread. 
And whenever a face down creature you control dies, return it to the battlefield face down under its owner's control. And if it's a permanent card, return it face up, which is pretty decent um, considering uh, we are focusing on Manifest Dread, right? So it's got the haste for the spider and then it's got the draw as well as the recursive ability uh, or nature, I should say, um, there for us. All right, so um, that's pretty cool. And we can maybe get them out to give the Trumpeting Carnosaur haste late game, right? Um, the Discover 5 is quite nice. You know, it enters play, and then you'll exile top cards of your library until you exile a non-land and then play that card for free, which is decent. And, you know, if you get lucky enough, uh, that's what you'll get. And then this is a 7-6 with Trample, um, you know, if you get that Yaris, which we're looking for. Um, unfortunately, uh, it comes in play before the Courage, um, but Yaris definitely can hook it up with haste there for you. And uh, if not, that's fine. Uh, we can always discard it from our hand for three to deal three damage to a creature or Planeswalker, which is pretty nice. Um, so, you know, kind of comes down here within our interaction alongside Torch the Tower for one instant speed, two damage to a creature or Planeswalker if you bargain it. Now, this is the uh, sacrifice of a token, enchantment, or artifact, three damage instead, and scry one. And then, of course, some protection for us um, within the Royal Treatment. One mana, instant speed. Target creature gains hexproof until the end of turn. Um, and then creature, uh, sorry, create a Royal Roll uh, and attach it to that creature. And it will get plus one, plus one in Ward 1, which is pretty decent. Um, so that's the deck. Of course, uh, playing all these creatures in the deck on top of the Beast Caller, it dies, it distributes its counters the doll we've talked about that the innkeeper pushes them on the doll of course we can level it up and then things with plus one counters get ward and then we can pay three uh, sorry pay four to take it to level three and uh you know we'll double the number of counters and that's going to include the nest counters as well as our plus one counters um so that's a really good way to just you know go to absolute london with the spider generation um and yeah, just like a ton of fun. So Passage in the deck for consistency. These new lands are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the mana base is way too good in this game. Uh, the Gorge alongside the Passage, right? Fast lands, slow lands, all the time lands apparently. And then some basics uh, to keep us there. And, um, you know, very fun deck to play. Honestly, having a you know a good time with this and, uh, you know, keeping it fresh. Obviously, there are a ton of new decks to focus on, and we've done our best to get to some of the uh, most powerful builds uh, as early on as we can for you all, while maintaining that creative angle, uh, you know, which you've known uh, for so long. Thank you all, um, and let's play some Magic. Going first, keeping seven, and we are out and a boot. In tapped on three, unless, of course, we draw another land and then we're along the way. Cut down, right out. What the hell? Huh. Now, isn't that interesting? That's the card I'm going to lose to? I feel disrespected. Already. Ah, yes. Please and thank you. Past turn. This will be a red source, apparently. What you doing, Willis? Miner is good. I think that gets the exile. Oh. Yes. And then we can just destroy Tiny Bones. The old-fashioned way. I don't really want to give them the tutor. Um, we could X equals one them. I don't think that would be good. We're so far away from six. And there's things to remove. Do 
All right, taking tiny. Tinny tin tin. Still getting hit for three to thirteen though. That's substantial at this point. Why does it say I have five land? One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, I don't see five. They're hidden land here. <laughs> this is a strange bank. Oh, now we're down to four. So weird. Uh, so this itself doesn't have haste. Immediately being removed. Go for the throat. Comes back as an enchantment. Which is okay. Not terrible. We're down to ten. Best case. We just need one more land. This is much better on two than one. Twice as much, in fact. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I was I was thinking about it. And I decided that, uh, you know, two was about twice as much as one. I mean, you can fizzle it if you want. Oh, just to make another rat? I guess. Dude. I'm nine. I mean, yeah, maybe. That is so, so, so sold. Okay, we have protection. This is interesting. They're going for it. Just let them have the third rat. Save your protection. Last turn. We lose the ability to tap, but I kind of need it to block. Okay. Pretty good. We could block this, though. Plus one, yeah. That way we're only taking three instead of five. And then we get right after it, don't we? Or, well, this is two blocks as well. Yes. Give me the shrieker. the land, I guess. Now there's sixes with haste. Which is pretty good. I'm on thin ice, though, is the thing. So we're going to defend, unfortunately. Um, if we had more leeway, we would go in for the kill, but... Let's try to survive. It's solved. Um, that's a descend. This is back to hand. Would they just grab a land? I bet it is. Ouch. But, removal. We do have ward. Um, which is great. That's going to slow them down a bit. Three spooters here, potentially. Uh, they would be four twos with haste, which is, is substantial. Maybe I should have went for it. Hmm. It's a close game, right? Ooh. Wait, 
let's use its ability to flip this. We lose it, but we only have to pay two instead of three now, which is good. And I honestly think we take those three spiders. Three um, times four, right? It's 12. And then we have nine. Math. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's my boy. That's my boy. Okay. 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 Hasty Spooters. Finally kind of getting to do that thing we wanted to do. Okay. So, land is good. Going first. Bad hand though, right? Mulligan. I want something that shows off new cards. Here we go. This is where it's at. Keeping this. We do have to throw one or the removal. It's got to be one of these. This is a forest on one. Pass over. Gorge on two. With a recruit and the tower. Looks like they have removal. Ooh, don't like when they do that. Right? Let's hit for two. It is what it is. It lands. Is there removal? No. Okay. There will be here. That will push up the paw patch. Oh, big time. Okay. They're tapped out though, right? So here comes the innkeeper. We can level it up. Then also hold up the tower still. Here for four. Two lands out, we have the trumpeting carnosaur. Oh really? That is strange. Now this is a strange bank. They're tapping, which is fine. Let's hit four, five. Yaris is in play. Lethal on board. Fifth land out, five in hand. Passing turn. No, second main phase? Yes, passing turn. Is that six? No, that's only five. Okay. This represents a potential lethal swing. They could block with the land, which I will allow. Oh, no, they... Yeah, they can. No, they can't. But they will exile this. So we're going to go up to five. Which is pretty decent. I feel like that was the wrong card to exile. Four in hand, four life left. It's the trample they didn't like, I think. Two mana up. They're leaving room. Let's take our turn. That's the land we need for a haste. Carnosaur, good game. Um, it's a little slow. I'm going to mulligan. Let's keep six. Keep the doll, toss courage, get courage for free off Carnosaur. 
It's going to be a green source. Control deck, can't wait. Yes. Deja vu, I know, right? Let's see if they cast three in a row this time. Well, if I don't draw land, we should probably just scoop up. We're still here. Living our best life. Not really. I mean, that hurts so bad as far as our progression goes. Really? Now that is so strange to me. Rabbits? What? Hit for two. It's not the Boros control deck I know. I will get lost, hey? We could explore onto the doll. Now that's not bad. Okay, more removal. And here are the rabbits. Okay. It all makes sense now. And we're back again. Now two mana. Holy, that's like criminal. Let's make sure that we find the next. That forces a double block, which I think is acceptable. So they just let it through. Okay, four rabbits and a draw. That's going to get out of control. Did they have another? No way, bro. They just go to three. They're four fours. That's substantial. 12 damage. And it goes. Wow. All right, big money, no whammies. Yaris or the... Yeah, okay. Not being able to do that feels really bad. Nice double block. Three in hand. <sighs> oh. <sighs> K 
Okay, that might be an overextension. We'll see. They just need two creatures to enter to win. Do they have it? Four mana up. Right, the call does damage if they have it. This is not enough. This is pretty close. Right? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh no, it gets us there. Did they have interaction? Haste is a hell of a drug. Oh wow. That's lucky. Good game. They just needed like one blocker, right? Ay ay ay. Going first. Okay. Um you know, I'm going to get this uh paw patch out and about early and probably just push this land until 3 get the doll out. Ooh, removal. Whenever I see black being played, Oh, so I like the stalwart because it can top that new bro, which I don't know the name of. The beast that can just bring something in, right? It's quite good. Um, yeah, they're not going to block. Nah, there's no way. Maya, you're just out of frame. There we go. She ducked down a little bit too. She heard me. What have you got over there? What is that? <laughs> what? What? I don't see anything. <laughs> Three of those. Meow. That's a really good land. Passage in untapped now. We could go straight to the Enduring, I think. Um. Clear one of these. Nah, I'd rather keep the recruit, I think. Stack plus one counters at this point. It you know, if they only had one, it's something entirely different than having three. I'm sure they can dispose of one of them. Right, so three two survival manifest dread three. I mean it's alright. I do like the Sidnal stalwart here with the manifest uh, sorry, not the Manifest Dread, the uh, Survival Mechanic. Very good. I think they only needed to do one. Right, so they could have had actually one mana left over here if they needed. Okay, let's thin with a, uh, a mountain here, right? I don't know why they're full controlling us. Here we go. We can just do that after, right? We don't really need to do that now. Leave it as a blocker. In the meantime... Holy! <laughs> and now... Let's clean up that block. We should clean this up, but... Yeah, because this can manifest dread over and over. Kind of terrible, but... If not, we're just one after the other failing to really ever catch up. I say swing in. Keep our doll back. Grapple does go through. Right, two damage on that. Uh, plus the 5 for 7 on the turn. Uh, 10 with the Courage. We will now end turn. Stop. We can block and then tap for mana. Grab a Twitching Counter. Putting them on the doll, which is just fantastic. 
on the draw, keeping seven. Hello and good game. What's up, homie? Exquisite duct tape. My tools. I need my tools. <laughs> Uh, talent, recruit, removal as needed. Oh! I like that card. Likeness looter can become an oculus. And again, they will not stop unless I stop them. Let's hit. Shrieker is a go. Now this is going to take priority over somehow milling the Oculus and then still also paying... Like they, if, I guess if they could get it out of their hand for one or surveil it, you know what I mean, like from the library or from their hand, integrate for one, they could do it. But if not, I think we can play the creature, trigger the recruits, and then just do it next turn while having powered up recruits and, you know, also that additional turn that we just took. So I think tempo-wise, you know, if we're going to break it down, uh, rather than just chasing the duck... You know, we're going to go for the goose. You make less sense as the days go on, HGG. <laughs> what do you mean? We would do this last, right? If we were going to. Okay. This is actually pretty good for us because now there's like bad blocks for them. And we could, for all intents, just replay it, right? So, Ash Ketchum. Can we draw a double block? Not even close. Again, can we do that exact same thing? Or am I risking the biscuit? You're going to have six cards in the graveyard anyways. Yeah, but five is not six. It's true. What if we double play and go wide? They would both be attacking. Well, we would just kick that, if anything, then, wouldn't we? Let's uh, focus on new cards. Right, let's play with the new cards. You know, when there's a decision like this, that's what we can do. Don't you dare. Oh, I'm so screwed. No, because you'd have to pay nine still. But that's how quickly this could go wrong. So we got to get rid of that looter. Um, or just my life, because that's a problem. The looter wasn't the problem. That new card that I didn't even bother to read. <laughs> nice. So we're not going to have much of an attack here. Let's put the beast caller down. I don't know how we're going to contend with that. That's the thing, you're not. That exile, so the beast color ability won't trigger. Right? Valgoth is a real mother effer. Okay. It's funny because we had removal the whole time. We just we didn't see any threats really in their grave, so we didn't act, and then boom, gotcha. So shout outs to my opponent. That's really nice play. Withholding that information so I can't 
not that I can't act, but I, you know, there's hesitation involved and therefore opportunity. Nice play. But you just tapped. Oh, bitter triumph. Bummer. Interesting. I mean, I guess. So we're still not here. We may as well take that at some point, right? Not really the problem. We do hit for a bit, but we're going to be dead in two. Can I not? Oh, uh, sorry. I cannot. Let's do this then. Math is hard. What do you mean four is not five? Nowhere close to where we need to be, unfortunately. Hitting for 13. Well, I mean, you know, if they didn't just gain 9. They block 4, of course. And, uh, well, hmm. If we had our six land, played the Carnosaur, and then got, oh no, our dignity back, then maybe we'd win. But unfortunately, that's been stripped from us. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Someone's going to London, and it's not me. You're going to London, okay? You're going to London. <laughs> Going first, keeping seven. Removal's here. Um, you know, that's good. Beast caller on two. Ew. Deliri who? Barely knew him. <laughs> Okay, so uh, passage in tapped, most likely. Yeah. But that's okay. This is not a bad card. We can attack. There's no block. And turn. They mill. It's a land. So it's double land. Only one type in grave. We should probably keep track of that. Slime against humanity. Now that will be a sorcery. They're tapped out. We will grab a forest. Then there's two green, two red. Ah, hmm. Probably take this while we can get it. They're oozes, right? So we want to clear those as they come. Um, let's hold this removal up as well. Let's push into our class. And we can hit for 4 to 13. They mill another slime. Interesting. Interesting. There. 
is another. Okay, I'm in trouble. That's like, what, a 4-4? Four, four. Good lord. Take our turn. The doll is exactly what I want. We're going to play that. Push up the beast caller. Now, this is where it gets a little weird. I think I quit pushing up the beast caller and start pushing into the doll. Beast caller is just tempo, and we kind of want them to deal with it, so we don't want it to grow too large. Okay, milling here. Another slime. Oh, Lord. I'm going to be in trouble. We're going to go wide, I think, for the last little bit here. This is any target as well. Maya is going crazy. <laughs> She's like, crazy? You want to see crazy? I'll show you crazy. Good <laughs> girl. Um, that's a good card. I'm in danger. We kill the Manifest Dread. Hmm. Okay. Land is nice. Land is nice. X equals one. That's not good. I think that's our best bet, though. Respectfully. We could do X equals two with a tap. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, I guess we have our blocks. Push it onto the doll again. Swing for five, just keep tempo on. Oh, they take it. This is a good card. That worked well. Two four fours? <sighs> Settle down. Ooh, a six six. Manifest red, we have lethal. This is cooler though. You're savage, HGG. Swing for five, try to bait the block. Do it. Come on, you got a six six right there. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nice. These are gonna go to our twitching doll, submit. And we can make the spooters. Yes. And, uh, and turn. I mean, we need them to tap out, right? I could throw it up, but I might not convert with it. Three cards we don't know about. An 8-8. Eight, eight. Woof. They're actually going just as wide as us. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We do have nine. Um, so they'll need two more. And, well, there's two more. But they're tapped out. And now we can strike. Oh, is this only creature? Creature or Planeswalker? What was I thinking? Okay. So this is uh, a little bit worse than I was expecting. <laughs> 
Do we just play it for six? No, we need to just clear up our attack lines. Pretty good, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Take that. Let's uh, also take this. They make two more though, right? This cannot attack uh, or block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we still have the two through. Nice. Should be fine. Oh, unless Delirium comes back online, but they both hit for enough. That's pretty cool. Um... Math is hard, but I think we get it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes. This saves us. By golly. Memory lapse. A little sneaky damage to seal the deal. We were in trouble here, if not closing it out. These things are crazy, bro. All right, keeping seven. It's a little slow, but... With that in mind, we can play that passage on one. Oh, no. That's a good card. That's a card you just don't want to see. Okay, so two green for the Shrieker, which I'm certain will show up. Ayo! How does he do it? Beast Caller is a go. Shrieker on three. Let's see if we can get Yaris on four. Oh, no. Hit for two. Caller's gone. Twitching Doll first with protection because we know that's going to continue. Right? Yeah, no, that's not the last of it, I'm sure. That's not funny. This is a great card. Holy. Nice. Okay. Way too many Toledos, dude. What do we even do? We just die? I can't remove a tent on. This is one of my favorite decks from the... Uh the opening event. I made four of the strongest decks I could. Um, this was definitely one of them. Ouch. Ouch. So maybe the Shrieker can keep us going with these Manifest Dreads. We need this protection. Let's get after it. We have to get really lucky. They'll need multiple removal pieces. Or more blockers. Or just flying. That will also do the trick. Good game. The flying something I did not include in my version, but this worked out very well. 
the spooders live um really liking the multiple angles to the deck the gruel manifest i find to be quite strong and you know it just pairs so well with the twitching doll on the front end um aside from that you know moving forward there, i have had some ideas you know and the new cards are going to do this to us right if you wanted to add white you could go with the feast for life gain and the war leader's call uh, which might just give you immediately lethal um but you know it's a third color and then you know on the one drop could be the hero i don't know i'm sure it's fine just more one drop creatures right empty um you know can put a plus one counter on the doll if it attacks but you know you may as well just tap and take the nest counter at that point bill seems pretty good you know getting those lands just a counter on it every turn kind of like the innkeeper but the innkeeper maybe is better um doubling the counters here wouldn't be bad a little bit later though kami pretty cool um you know plus one counters uh similar to the uh the artifact the ozolith right and then the simulacrum can put two counters on replay it from the grave not bad not bad tribute you know doing that exact same thing counters and draw pretty cool recruiter additional haste you know it's a little bit cheaper but i think the courage is nicer here um you know maybe we split the difference just trying new cards though today uh the mentor could you know be absolutely swole in conjunction with the spiders but maybe we're not focused in enough on tokens here um samet is nice with the haste for additional draw this could definitely go in the deck but i just felt like we were already kind of winning the game at that point and it like you know it's fine it would be good it's a good card we could sneak it in i'm sure um more removal settling in on the carnosaur and tower but frenzy's cool too and just like onslaught hide in plain sight uh i believe is pretty decent as well um for us if we wanted terror of the peaks could be uh, you know in any deck you want if you're looking to win more and uh, you know on that note railway brawler so that's kind of you know what i've been thinking of as i build this deck and uh this is what we've uh kind of dialed in on and you know these obviously didn't make the cut but they are honorable mentions so if you have any ideas on how we can improve this deck obviously don't hold back let us know in the comments below thank you all so much for watching it has been my pleasure and uh very much looking forward to seeing you all soon in the next if uh this deck wasn't your cup of tea definitely check out the channel uh, my recent uploads will have a variety of new decks for the most recent Duskmorn Spooky Time set. Take care. I'll see you in the next.